What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so the daily edition. You guys are enjoying it. Thank you once again for enjoying all the episodes and all that stuff, and, uh, you know, hopefully we come out with more walkthroughs, especially on the Switch right here. So, anywho, in our last episode, we defeated Team Rocket, Giovanni, Archer, and all that stuff. Found Cubone and returned it back to Lavender Town, and now it is finally time for us to actually go back to, uh, yeah, Lavender Town. In order to solve that little mystery of the ghost, we also learned the secret technique, Skydash. So let's go ahead and try that out. Now, if you guys don't know what Skydash is, it's the equivalent of Fly, except now, you won't need an HM Slave for all that stuff, so all you gotta do, what the hell? <laughs> Look at you, Pikachu! Vigorously embraced you. That's a good boy right there. So all you got to do go straight to the secret techniques and look at that We got three out of the five. Let's go right in and use that sky dash and As you can see BAM We have been through a quite a few places and this is actually very good for us because off-screen We will be capturing some more Pokemon just to level up our our Pokemon right here so where we got, got to go next is we got to go straight to Lavender Town because uh, there's something going on there. Look at that. Pikachu driving that machine right there. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. Look at that. So here we are, guys, back in Lavender Town. And now that we got the Silph Scope, we can actually go through this whole area right here. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Now, we did evolve Leonardo in the last episode. And, well, we have a fully evolved team. Now, here's something that I learned. I haven't used uh, Alolan, uh, Alolan Sandshrew very, very much, but, what was it? You can evolve this Pokemon through an Alolan, or through an Ice Stone, which I do have. I'm not going to evolve him just yet, because it can't, it needs to learn another move before we do anything else. A very physical, very awesome Steel-type move. So we're going to put him up first, and, well... Let's go ahead and continue on our adventure right here. As you can see, Trace is right in the front. He's like, so that's Cubone's mom? That's right. Team Rocket keeps going on keeps on going after Marowak so I, it can sell those skulls they wear for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother, even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that, Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone hitting into the tower a little while ago, too. I'll go to... I'll go look for it, and I'll keep my eye out for Mr. Fuji, too. The one who's been, um, the one who's been missing. Thank you, and be careful. Alrighty. Of course, Trace, he doesn't really want to do it. He's like, I really don't like ghosts, but I've got to do this. Uh, Trace, you coward. Alright, Daddy's here. Ah, uh, Draven! Nice timing! You caught most of the, uh, mo most of that, right? What do you say? You want to come with me? Nah. <laughs> right. I'll just have to wait for you to be ready. Alright, I'll come back. Okay, so... I thought he was going to say something like, Come on, man! Thanks, pal! It'll be a big relief to have you. I just... I'll just have to let you lead the way, okay? Sure, why not, dick? Oh, man. Alright, so here we go. Maximum effort. Now, our first encounter right here in the Pokemon Tower wasn't very, very good because, of course, there are there is a ghost in there. Now, the only problem is that we can't identify the other ghosts. There's multiple ghosts, and now that we have the Silscope, we can actually see what, you know, is, is up here. And I uh, forgot about this little item found in Elixir, and now it is time for us to just, uh, well... Take a look at what we're going to find right here. Now, there's going to be a buttload of ghosts right here, so just be aware of that. We already defeated her. Let's go right ahead and uh, look at that. Look at all the ghosts. Uh, do you think they're, they're really ghosts in here? Huh? Draven, what's that? The Silsco revealed the ghost's true forms. And look at that. We found ourselves some Gastlies and a Haunter. Whoa! That's crazy, so those ghosts are actually Pokemon? Yes, they are. Now we just gotta find them and all that stuff. And of course, we're gonna be getting cha challenged by Pokemon trainers here. Be gone, mal malevolent spirit! Ugh! <laughs> that is like the worst interpretation of that guy, but guess what? Let's do it! Chandler Patricia wants the battle, and she's looking possessed right here. 
and they will all be coming out with Gastly's. Alrighty. Let's do this. Ice Punch. And damn! Just like that. Uh, balls. Yeah, we're gonna get hurt. And that was a very, very good move right there. Look at that. Physical attack. How about that? Look at that. And, well, we're getting hit by this. It's pretty bad. And she will be coming out with another Ghastly right here. So, let's go right ahead and do our thing. And we are still burnt to a crisp right here. So, we're going to try and get Sucker Punch. Oh, damn. So, here we go. Ice Punch. For the win. Look at that. Very powerful physical attacker right here. Look at that. And Patricia has been defeated. I feel great. Now, this might be anticlimactic right here, guys. But this place is nothing but ghost type Pokemon. And if you guys remember, if you guys are old veterans of the old generation uh, walkthroughs and all that stuff, these guys are not exactly ghost types. They are both ghost and poison type Pokemon. So, it's time. It's about damn time, guys. I know, very anticlimactic, but I'm ready for this one right here. It's at a good level. We're going to destroy every single one of them. Let's go. Bring it. It is time to use Mew. Now, this is a very good place to use Mew, of course, Psychic-type Pokemon, because it has a distinct advantage over everybody. So there it is. Ghastly, what's up? And here we go. Mew de Uno. It's about damn time right here. Let's go! Psywave. The human cheat code. Look at that. Bam! And wow, a toxic. Jeez. <laughs> oh damn. So that wasn't the best uh <laughs> that wasn't the best debut, but guess what? Mew de Uno? Let's get this. Dark Pulse. We got another move up our sleeves. Look at that. Dark type Pokemon move and yeah, Mew de Uno. Taking care of business. Look at that. Alrighty, it's about damn time that we use Mew. Many of you guys were saying, what's the point of having Mew on your team? Well, it's because of this one right here. And we're going to keep on using Mew throughout this whole episode right here. And, well, let's go ahead and uh, heal Sanshu right here. Again, trying to level him up to get a special move right here. So let's grab this. And I see a Cubone there. Oh, it's okay. So that's not the Cubone that we were looking for, but it's a Cubone nonetheless. There, there, there are Poke there are Pokemon Cubones right here, and we're gonna get attacked by this girl. Ah, hua, getting us. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Chandler Hope wants the battle. She will be coming out with a uh, Ghastly right here. All right, Mew de Uno. Let's go. Alrighty, let's go. Let's get this. Dark Pulse. Yeah, buddy. Dark Pulse takes care of that. Look at that. Maybe I should just be using Dark Pulse the whole entire time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that. Everybody getting defeated. Hope is saved. So apparently all these Pokemon, or these trainers, are possessed and stuff. I heard that ghosts can be identified with a still scope. Alright, and here we found an awakening. Now... When facing a ghost type Pokemon, guys, just be aware, they will mess around with your stats, a lot of your stats. They could paralyze you, burn you, confuse you, hell, even put you to sleep. I got burnt. Surprisingly, I didn't get paralyzed too, so that's uh, also a fun, fun fact. And, well, let's see. I'm just trying to get items before people see me. Look at that. Oh, I thought I finessed my way. What's up? Ghost, no! Hwa! Okay, bring it, sister. So here we go. Chandler pa Paula would like to battle, and she's coming out with her very own Ghastly. All right, Mew de Uno. Look at that. This Pokemon right here can destroy you ten times or nothing. Look at that. Oh, yes. Mew, you are kicking butt, taking names and everything. Look at that. Look at that. And here she's going to be coming out with another Ghastly Suit. It's going to be Ghastly Suit. It's going to be the same old spiel. 
Dark Pulse every single time. Very good move. There we go. Dark Pulse for the win. Suck it, Ghastly. Alrighty. Okay, look at that. Look at that. Mute Uno taking it to him. Very good investment. Very good way, too. Alrighty. Let us move on right here. And, well, let's grab this item. Found ourselves a TM04, which is teleport. And there is a Ghastly. So we're going to go capture it. What up, Ghastly? Alright. Let's go ahead and use some more Pokeballs. Now, of course, I used up a lot of my Great Balls and... A lot of my Great Balls and a lot of my Ultra Balls. Actually, all of them. Just to level up my Pokemon right there. And good God! This Pokemon will not stay put. So here we go. There we go. Toss that little item. And come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Ah! You suck. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the Ultra Ball right here. It's a little easier, and look at that. We got a nice rating right there. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Yes. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. Look at that. Look at that. And what well, we get experience points, which is good. And we get a new addition to our Pokedex. Said to appear in the decrypted deserted buildings. Or decrypted deserted buildings. It has no real shape. It, happened, it appears to be made of gas. I'm, a, I'm assuming it's a fart, like somebody's old raunchy fart and all that stuff. So now when now capturing this Ghastly, you can actually see which one's smaller and which one's bigger and all that crud. Pretty good stuff. So, let's go ahead and start battling some more Chandlers. And they're Ghastlies and stuff. I think there is maybe one or two trainers that may have a, a Haunter, so... Let's go ahead and use our Mew de Unu. Let's go ahead and Dark Pulse everybody. Look at this, Dark Pulse for the win. Yes sir, yes sir, look at that. Look at that, okay, okay, kicking ass, taking names. And here she's gonna come out with her Haunter, okay. Let's see what happens here, look at this guy. Haunter's looking scary. So let's go Dark Pulse again, and good God, Soccer Punch. So here goes Dark Pulse for the win. How do you like me now? Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. She didn't really like that at all. Okay. Let's move on with our lives right here. Kind of a cruel pun to say, especially since we're in a cemetery. And, well, here we are. Another full heal and taking on another Chandler right now. I see a bone and crying. <laughs> Alrighty. Bring it. Just bring it. So here we go. Chandler Laurel would like to battle right here. And she is coming out with her Haunter. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. Dark Pulse. There we go. And no more Haunter. Just like that. Look at that. Easy. Easy. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Level 37, level 39. My Pokemon are growing pretty big right here. That's good. Very, very good. All right, so hold on. You had uh, something to say. We can't determine the identity of the ghost. Hmm. What ghost are you talking about? And, well, we got all the items right here. So now it's time to move on to the next floor. As you would probably remember, there is the healing item right there, or the healing spot. But first, let's go ahead and battle everybody. Join us. Alrighty. Bring it. So here we go. Chandler Ruth would like to battle coming with her Haunter. And here I am sitting pretty with a very nice Mew. Look at that. That I got from a Pokeball not so long ago. And, well, let's go again. Another a Dark Pulse. But, of course, they're going to just be using Sucker Punch just to beat me. Dark Pulse does its thing. Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, alrighty. And a new De Uno. Grows the level 42. Look at that. Pretty good Pokemon. Very, very good Pokemon. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay. 
feeling pretty good about myself and of course a ghastly is going to be encountered so let's go ahead and try and capture this guy there we go they're gonna be very hard to capture if you're just doing it like off screen like I am they will try and move around and let's go ahead and throw that there we go now if you're playing it like you know handheld and you know it's gonna be easy to capture right there and good god come on stay in the bowl there we go stay in the ball Playing a god dang ball. Stay in the ball! Damn it! Alright, time to feed it something. That's what it's looking for. Here we go. Got him! Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Yes. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty. So as you can see, more experience points for all of us right here. And, well, look at that. Our Pokemon and this Pokemon right here, too. So, let's go ahead and grab that item. And we found ourselves another Nugget, which is good. And, well, let's go ahead and continue battling everybody first before we, you know, run into anything else. Give me all! Give me your all! Well, if you guys remember in the originals, give me blood. Yeah, they really changed up a lot just to, uh, you know, make this kid friendly or something. I don't know. To me, it's like, it's whatever. I mean, I'm an adult. I get it. But, you know, as a kid, you know, growing up with Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, then Leaf Green and Fire Red, it really didn't bother me that much. But I guess times have changed, guys. It really has. And look at that. All right, Ghastly. You're nothing right here because this Mute Uno right here is gonna about is about to destroy you. So let's go another Sucker Punch right here. Always hits first. Look at this. Look at that. This Mew right here is kicking butt, taking names, and everything in between. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, look at that. And well, she's gonna be coming out with another Ghastly. So same deal right here. Let's go with another Dark Pulse. So I'm pretty sure I'm just going to have to, like, heal up right after this. Pretty sure. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see, guys. And look at that. Chammy has been defeated. I feel good about that one. And we got to evade that Ghastly. Oh, wow. We got two more. Two more people right here. So grabbing this item. And... Alrighty. So who's next? Grabbing this person. Okay. And, well, let's go right ahead. Chandler Jane would like to battle, and she is coming out with a Ghastly right here. And she's got four Pokemon, so, yeah, I am uh, probably going to run out of my uh, Dark Pulse. Yeah, four Pokemon. Well, time to make the most of it, guys. That's right, look at that. Ghastly has been defeated. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I'm flexing my muscles right here, my muscles. And she's going to continue coming out with Ghastly's right here. No biggie, no biggie right whatsoever. So let's go again, another Dark Pulse while taking another Sucker Punch right here. Let's go, get it. Look at that, Ghastly, you have been defeated right there. Look at that. Okay, and... You know, one thing that I really like about this this uh, Pokemon Tower, this version of Pokemon Tower, is the purple mist around the area. It's just, it enhances the whole thing. Kind of wish that there was like a uh, a move that enhances ghost type capabilities. Kind of like a fairy grant or like what was the move? It's for electric and fairy type Pokemon. Seen it in Pokemon. Uh, oh, electric aura and fairy aura. Wish they had that really do it's a Pokemon Sun and Moon I, I remember that now wish they had that now if there is a move such if there is such thing as a move for ghost type Pokemon like that comment down below I still haven't played Pokemon Sword or Shield so that's how that's how uh, <laughs> out of date I am right here and there we go another defeat another victory Janae has been defeated. I am uh, victorious. And, well, we got one more trainer. So now we're just going to have to use Psy Wave right here. Zombies! Okay. Bring it. 
Let's do this. Chandler Karina would like to battle. And she will be coming out with her game or her haunter. Okay. Mew de Uno, let's go. And well, we only have Psy Wave now. Still a good move. But we're gonna get hit just a little bit more. So here we go. Psy Wave. Nearly takes out this Haunter, so let's try it one more time. Psy Wave. For the win. Yes, sir. Look at that. I really wish one of these challenges would actually have a Gengar and stuff. It would have been cool. It would be cool and all that stuff. So let's go again. Try this one more time with a Psy Wave. Look at that. Psy Wave takes out this Ghastly. Man. Man, oh man. Look at that. And Smasher finally grows to level 40. Welcome to the level 40 club. This is great. Okay, so let's move on to the healing item or the healing spot right here. You entered a purified protected space. Your Pokemon are fully healed. And I'm going to continue entering that stuff. Talk to this guy or this chick right here. Wow. Let's see. Talk to her. Come, child. I have purified this space here. You can rest yourself a moment. And, well, there is a Ghastly waiting for us right there. But we're going to be going upstairs. And we got a few more challenges to go through. Wow. And, well, Destruction Despair. Let's do this. So, here we have Angelica wanting to battle. And she's coming out with her uh, Ghastly. Now, the further we get, the more Pokemon we're going to be seeing. So... Get used to this, guys. Now, in my original run right here in Pokemon, uh, my Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu game, I actually had Ultra Psycho with me. You guys, I, you guys already know I have him on. I have him right here, and it was a breeze, a complete breeze, just because I believe Alakazam is a little bit stronger in, in special stats than uh, Mew right here. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And it just mopped the floor with everybody. And I mean everybody. So yeah. Now, why wasn't I? Why am I not using them right here? Well, for those who don't know, who are new to my walkthroughs or you know, pretty much my channel, uh, yeah, Ultra Psycho has been a a big, big, big part of my Pokemon Yellow walkthrough. I think, yeah, I didn't use them in Pokemon Leaf Green, but yeah, very big part of it. And uh, uh, you know. And having Ultra Psycho on my team right here would be bringing back the other Pokemon too that I had in yellow. And I think you guys wanted a different team. I'm kind of hoping. Maybe. I don't know. Can't really can't really read you guys' minds except for your comments. So here we are. Oof! Alrighty. Let's go. What's up? Chandler Emilia. One Emilia wants a battle. And she's coming with her Haunter right here. Mew de Uno is about to destroy everybody right here. So let's go ahead and go with a Dark Pulse. Look at that. Dark Pulse takes care of Haunter. I'm feeling happy. Yes. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And wow, she has two Haunters? Wow, somebody's, somebody must be listening to themselves. Yes, okay, so here we go. Dark Pulse again. And Haunter has been defeated. Come on, please tell me you have a third Haunter. Because you'll be the awesome trainer here. And Leonardo grows level 37. Great! And it, is she coming out with a Haunter? Yes, she is. Look at that. Somebody's finally listening. Good for her. Good for her. But unfortunately, I'm going to just destroy her. Destroy him. With our good old buddy, Mew de Uno. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Look at that. And Amelia. Something fell out. And we're just getting Pokeballs. I would love it if we got some Ultra Balls right here. My hair didn't fall out. It was a malevolent, malevolent spirit. Malevolent. And oh crud. Here we have another guy. Key. 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 Oh wow. This is scary. This is very, very scary. So here we go. Chandler Jennifer would like to battle. And she's got herself a Haunter for good measure right here. Okay, this better be the last Haunter that we face because I'm getting a little tired of it. Let's go! Sucker Punch. 
Yeah, okay. Let's go. Dark Pulse does its trick. Look at that. Yeah. And, well, there goes, uh, there goes, well, Jennifer. Or Amelia, or whatever her name is. Alright, so here we have an item, and we found ourselves three more Ultra Balls, which is good, because we just ran out of Ultra Balls. And grabbing this item right here, and I did not know that there was a Zubat here. Should probably check a little more. And, well, we are at the tail end right here, so... You're hearing something. Be gone! The hell? What is going on? Be gone, intruders! Oh, snap. Oh, snap. That right there. Holy crap. That was cool. That was tight. God, this one's even bigger than the last one. Hey, man. Stop being... Okay, stop being a wuss and get over here. You see that? Stone face. Draven, use that thing. The thing that you used last time. Oh, damn. And would you look at that? It's Marowak. Holy crud. And oh! Aww. Now, this is the. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Oh, my God. Now, this is the cutscene that we needed, and that right there was beautiful. Look at that. Wow. The true form of the ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother spirit was calmed, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed into the afterlife and disappeared. Oh, dang. Cubone, you... You just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Q. Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Draven, I, I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to go take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think he could use it? You could see him at home, too? Sure, I got you. I'll be fine. I'm Cubone. I'm with Cubone now, after all. You've gotten pretty gutsy, haven't you, Draven? Hello, Stoneface. Wasn't scared. You, 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 you really showed your, uh, <laughs> you really showed your, your colors right there. What? Did you rescue Cubone from a, a Team Rocket? When did you go and get that strong? I've always been strong, bruh. Always been very, very strong. Right. Well then, I guess I'll leave this up to you, Draven. Come on, Cubone. Q. Wow, now that was a very good cutscene right there, guys. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ah! Yeah, that was a very good cutscene, and... Actually, that right there was... Like I said, guys, that was a cutscene that we all needed, especially since uh, we've seen this kind of stuff before in Pokemon Origins. So, instead of battling Cubone's mom, he just wanted to see Cubone. That's it. And, well, let's see. There's no hidden items around here. And there's a Haunter, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna capture this guy. Yeah, we've been, we've been wanting one of you guys. Alrighty. Of course, it's gonna be very difficult to capture with just a Pokeball. So, let's go right ahead and toss this thing! Gattaca, look at that! Come on, stay in the ball! Damn you! Okay, so it looks like we have to feed this guy right here, so let's see. Alright, here we go. Throw this thing. Get it? Come on. Let's go. Let's get it. Come on. Damn you! Alright, so we're gonna have to do this one more time. And here we go. Pin that berry. Toss this thing. Damn it! That was my last... Damn it! Wrong one. All right, get over here. There we go. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Come on. Got him. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling too much. 
I'm getting, this game's getting me excited and all that crud. So look at that. All our Pokemon are leveling up like crazy. And I'm very proud about this because, you know, shoot. It wasn't like the like my first run through that my Pokemon were all at level 40 by the time. So as you can see, here we have Haunter, the uh, ghost or the gas Pokemon. By licking, it saps the. By licking, it saps his victim's life. It causes shaking with that won't stop until the victim's demise. That's scary right there. That is very scary. Okay, so that is that. Let's go ahead and continue our adventure right here. As you can see, we are in a hallway, and we're trying to look for Mr. Fuji. And would you look at that? There he is. Stop right there. We'll be going first. With the Spectre out the spe specter out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You're the old geezer they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Mr. Fuji, da 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 da. Ignore us all you like. We're used to it. We don't take no for an answer. You'll help our boss whether you want it want to or not. Research? Huh. Would you look at that? Okay, so. Cat's out of the bag. Let's go ahead and just uh, waste these guys. Uh, you know what? Dynamic Duo, Mew, Diono, and uh, Sparky. Let's get this. Gramps here thinks that we can resist. We're, we're setting them straight. You'd better disappear, twerp, or be, pre or be prepared to fight. Okay. I have no problem whooping on you guys again. So here we go. Another Pokemon battle against Team Rocket. Jesse's and James says. Alrighty. Alrighty. Mew de Uno and Sparky. That's right. I got a Mew. And guess what? It's about to destroy. It's about to stomp a mud hole on your asses. So here we go. Thunder to you. Let's get this. Thunder. I, lo I love this thunder effect. Look at that. Boom. Critical hit. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. We're just mopping the floor with this guy right here and with this guy right here. And Mew de Uno grows to level 43. And, well, everybody else is going to be leveling up. Look at that. Sanchu level 38. And here we go. Psy Wave. Nearly for the win. So, oh, crud. It has Dark Pulse? Wow. Okay, two can play at that game. Let's go with the Dark Pulse ourselves. And let's finish this guy off with a Thunderbolt. Let's get it. Thunderbolt for the win. Look at that. So I guess Pikachu did all the work right there. It's all right. It's cool. And Jesse and James have been defeated. Look at that. <laughs> Repetitive losing. Ugh, seriously, again? Looks like Operation Stealthy Kidnap Fuji is a bust then. Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with uh, the takeover of Silco in Sapphire City. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. And look at that. Mr. Fuji. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Pikachu is acting a little crazy right now. Let's see what he has to say. Looks completely exasperated. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh, crud. Right here. Let's go right here, since I have 43 of these things. There we go, okay. So that's all I wanted to do, is just feed this Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, and who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket? Thanks, but I didn't even notice that they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. Okay. So after all of that, Mr. Fuji's going to be like, So, Draven, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without the deep love for your Pokemon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. And we get ourselves a Poke Flute, which we desperately need. Upon hearing the Poke, the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Alrighty, and well, Pikachu is saying something. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, look at that! Sparky has a present for you. What's up, buddy? What is it? 
we get ourselves a, a hard scale, a pretty hard scale, extremely rare. Some people are happy to receive one. Ah, oh, thanks, Pikachu. Oh, okay. Thanks, Pikachu. You know what? You deserve a little pat. There we go. Uh, right here. Oh, my bad. There we go. Belly rub. Good boy. Good boy. Alrighty. Okay. So, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. It enables us to do a little bit more now that we have, um, you know, our secret technique and all that stuff. And, well, we have quite a few choices now. We could always go to Saffron City. Or we could go down to the bicycle lane or the cycling the cycling road and take care of the stuff in Fuchsia City. So, eh, give me a moment and I'll figure that out. I'm more than likely going to be going to Fuchsia City. But if I do change my mind, it's going to get fun. It's going to be a long, another long episode, too. So thank you guys again for watching this episode. I will be back for another one tomorrow. See you guys.